Dear Father in Heaven, please help me to tell this experience that I had when you visited me. Thank you, Father. Give me your Holy Ghost. In the name of your Son, Jesus, my Lord. Amen. Um, so I had this vision about three years ago as well. God is telling me to to tell these visions that I had. Now, this is one time I was deeply in prayer to God. And I was really worshiping God and praying. And I, I can't remember I was fasting or not, but I was really in the spirit. And Jesus came to me, physically came to me. But I didn't get to see him, and I'll explain. When he came in, I felt his presence all around me. And um, it was as if, and I've, he's visited me another time as well. I shared this before. It was as if all of the energy in the room was being pushed out, all of the negative energy, the darkness. And the room was surrounded by this hor horrendous love, this horrendous peace. It was very peaceful, very loving. Uh, more than anything I've ever experienced in my entire life. And I was overwhelmed by it. But um, as he began to come in the room, all of a sudden I, I hit the floor. Like my face went straight to the pavement. Because I saw all the unforgiveness that I had in my heart. I was full of unforgiveness, bitterness at this time. And I was a Christian. Well, at least I, I felt that I was. But I was full of unforgiveness and bitterness. And I could not stand to look at God. I like, I, because he revealed that in my heart, you know. I know that God has visited sinners before and they was able to look at him and they didn't feel the way that I did. And that's great. But he let me see that bitterness and unforgiveness. And that love was so powerful and strong as it entered that room. I could not stand before a holy God with that unforgiveness and bitterness in my heart, okay? And I could not look him in the face. So I saw him. I, I fell to the ground. And I knew he was, I knew it was Jesus. I knew without a shadow of a doubt that it was Jesus before, you know, I could even see him. And uh, you have to have these experiences to know what I'm talking about. You know that it's God. You know that it's Jesus. There's no doubt about that. So anyway, I fell to the ground, and I was really um, uh, distraught over everything. And I saw him in the spiritual realm, and I saw him entering in the room. He let me see him through the spiritual realm because I couldn't look at him. And um, as he's coming into the room, he began to show me um, these visions. And he said to me, it was as if he was introducing himself to me. This was the first time that he physically visited me, okay? And um, he came to me and he introduced himself and he said, I have been with you since you was in the womb. And he showed me myself in the womb. I saw that. And he began to show me different um, times in my life that he was with me. And he was showing me how he was with me in those incidents, incidences of, of my life. So, um... It was like he was just introducing himself. And then he he began to show me these criminals. And some of them were in the act of committing crimes. And these things was flashing really, really fast. And I was able to comprehend everything he was showing me. And I was able to retain the knowledge of everything he was showing me. And so um, I talked about this in my New Jerusalem video that we will have abilities um, like this. But anyway, I'm, let me go on. So he's showing me these people in an act of sin. I mean, great sin. Uh, I remember seeing this man and he was a serial murderer. I saw um, a couple of serial murderers. I saw um, a guy who um, he was like a Hitler. It wasn't Hitler, but he was like a Hitler. And he, had, he was responsible for killing like many, many, many people, probably thousands or hundreds of people. I don't know, but a lot. And Jesus was saying that how he loved these people. Okay. And, um, you know, how he had love for these people and he showed me pedophiles. I saw pedophiles and I'm going to tell you, he, he showed me people murdering people in the act, in the act of, of committing heinous crimes. 
and um, just horrible, okay? One of the people that I could not forgive at that time was a pedophile. And I was not the victim, but a very close family member of mine was the victim. And I, I, I said with my mouth, I forgave this man, but I hated him. Because I saw the pain that he put my um, close relative through. And I, um, I began to just harbor all this hatred in my heart for this man. And then I had uh, hatred and bitterness towards people uh, in the court system that totally did not give me, uh, give this victim any justice as I'm trying to fight uh, for this victim. So, um, so Jesus was telling me, like he said, he said to me point blank, he said, I have love for all of these people and you cannot forgive that man. Or he was like, you cannot forgive those people. You cannot forgive that man is what he was telling me. And, um, then he left and I'm going to tell you something. When he left, I still was not, and I will tell this to anybody, you know, um, you, people think that if they can see, if they could just see God, that, you know, if he can just visit them, then all of a sudden they'll be made whole and all of a sudden they'll be made perfect. It doesn't work that way. He left and I still had a hard time because what I did not know back then that I know now is I had a stronghold. I had a stronghold of bitterness and unforgiveness. And I was trying to worship God and be this great Christian. I was even evangelizing, leading people to the Lord, okay? You know, I don't talk about that, but yeah, you know, I've, I've led many people to the Lord. Praise God, glory to God. And I was doing that back then. And I really thought I was something, okay, in God, you know? And uh, he, he came and visited me and, and showed me how much I was nothing. And, and you know, I was, in, I was in danger of hell because the Bible says if you don't forgive others, God will not forgive you. So it was a process. Um, I, I went through a lot, you know, and uh, I don't know if you all have seen my, my other uh, uh, video where I went to hell. But I, it was the same process like that. I had to go through a lot to get over the sin and um, and included fasting and praying and everything. And I and I tell you, I was able to get over the, the unforgiveness. That was a hard sin to get over. And I would come back to God and I would get right and I would forgive. And then I would go back to hatred and I hate him and I hate these people. And of course, I never said I hated them, but I, I knew that I felt that way. Because what I was doing was those what if scenarios where... You envision, you know, if they said this to me, I'm going to say this to them and I'm going to do this to them and blah, blah, blah. And I knew that I had these horrendous things in my heart. And, and when I would have in, interactions with these people, this hatred would just bubble up. So I knew I was not free. OK, and so uh, it, it took me a while. It took me a while. And uh, I had to keep working on it. And I made it top priority because I want to be right before God and not have the sin in my heart, you know, and, um, uh, to make a long story short, after I went through everything and I'm telling you, I mean, I looked at every movie, every about forgiveness. Um, this one guy saw a movie, I can't remember the name of it, sorry, but, uh, he came to forgiving the man that murdered his mom and he actually became friends with this man. Okay. Things like that. I mean, to us, you, you to, not to me now, but back then I thought he was insane. But now I understand, you know, because when you totally forgive somebody, you can do that. You can actually, you can, you can become friends with them, okay? And so um, I had to come to that, to that point as well. And, you know, I felt like God asked me if they was falling off a cliff, would you, would you reach out to save them, you know? And um, back then I, I was unsure, like, I don't know, I, I might let them fall, you know? But I had to... Um, had to come to the terms with that. And so then I began to reach out to one particular um, person that I had harbored a lot of unforgiveness towards. And I told him, you know what? I forgive you. And, he, and this person kept denying that he had did this um, child molestation thing to this, this child. He kept denying it. And I said, you know what? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. And I meant it. And I said, I forgive you. I love you with the love of the Lord. I'm praying for you, okay? But I need you to know that I forgive you. And I meant that. 
And since that has happened, I have prayed for this this young man, um, an old man or whatever he is. But I have prayed for the people in the court system, and um, and I've learned to forgive them. And now, you know, Satan, he doesn't even try to tempt me with those kind of thoughts of unforgiveness anymore. He used to, and I used to have to fight it. But now I don't even get them anymore because I, my heart is filled with love for them and compassion. I began to get compassion for these people. So anyway, um, this is a warning, another warning video. Um, God is having me do these videos, and I have to be obedient and do what he tells me to do because he is God and I am not. Um, and I was told specifically by a brother in Christ that um, he told me point blank that it was some videos that I need to get out that God wants me to get out. So I am being obedient to God. And somebody needs to hear this message. Somebody has unforgiveness in their heart, okay? Um, and, you know, I haven't given a whole testimony of everything that I've been through. And I, you know, I'm going to share, you know, just a little bit. But I'm going to tell you guys, you know, um, point blank. I have been through everything, just about everything that a person can ever go through. OK, so when I say that I could be I got to the point to forgive. Um, I'm this is no easy feat for me. I have I have been. um I have been raped before, okay? Um, so I know what that's like. I have, uh, my son was murdered. Um, I have another child uh, that was victimized that I'm not going to go into. But, um, you know, and I've had horrible things happen to me. People treat me unfairly. Uh, I know all about that and, uh, you know, just abnormally unfairly, you know. And then coming to find out, um, if you all saw one of my videos that a lot of these things that I've been through was curses, you know, spouses cheating and, you know, things like that and, and curses that I went through. Cause I definitely was breaking a covenant. I'm not going to be in denial. Like a lot of people like, yeah, you know, I'm perfect. No, I was, I was out there. I was worshiping God with my tongue. I was doing lip service and I was living like a heathen. And, you know, I had to, I was paying for that. And I, I it opened the door to Satan. The Bible says, give no place to the devil. And um, I went through a lot, you know, and that's, you know, I'm not even going to say so much as all of that. Yeah, I went through stuff when I was little. Okay. Um, so, you know, I've, I've been there. I, 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 I talk to people all the time and I, I've ministered to a lot of people. Glory to God. And God leads me to these people all the time because their stories are like mine and I can relate to them. I know what it's like to feel pain. I know what it's like to feel rejected. I know what it's like to feel alone, to feel so alone, like nobody cares about you, like you are in this world alone, okay? I know what that feels like, and I praise God that I got over those things, but I got over it with God, and um, that is my prayer for you all. Be forgiven. Forgive these people, because what God told me once um, is that I'm on my way to heaven, and he told me clear as day that the the people that um uh, some of the people that were persecuting me he told me he showed me the flames okay and not once three on three separate occasions he showed me these flames about 40 feet from the ground and he told me they was going to burn in those flames he told me that point blank and i i would love to say he said if they don't repent but he told me point blank they're going to burn in those flames that's what he said but then he told me right after that he said, it is not my will that any should perish. He told me that point blank. He don't want people to go to hell, okay? So he wants us to have compassion. He wants to pray. He wants us to love. And I had to learn all of these things. We're, You know, if you're right with God, you're going to heaven. We're not going to hell. We're going to the glorious kingdom of God. So why should we hold bitterness for people that are possibly on their way to hell? That, that doesn't make any sense. You should do everything that you can to try to save these people. And that's what I've done. And I'm going to tell you something. I've reached my neck out so far to, to try to get this one guy to go to, to get saved. He's even threatened me to, to go to the judge, he told me, and uh, tell him that I'm crazy. You know? So I just thank God he's done a complete turnaround in my life. You know, And I went from being this, this bitter person to really caring about people's souls. And so anyway, um, you know, I, I pray this touches somebody and blesses somebody. <sighs> Please let it go. Just let it go. It's not worth it. I love you. I love you all so much. I really do.
Danke.